Hi Aquarius, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly love reading for December 4th through December 10th. This is for the sign of Aquarius and this is intended to be a love reading. Uh, take what resonates and leave the rest because this is not a private reading. It's for a crowd of people, you know, so bits may resonate and bits may not. Alright, this is for the sign of Aquarius. I've pre-shuffled this deck so I'm only gonna shuffle it as long as I did and now it's time to lay out the cards I will make sure the camera is focused in as soon as I have the cards laid out I have to remind you that this is Jennifer from Soul Source. Sor <laughs> cannot talk today for nothing. Soul Source Tarot. <laughs> I couldn't say it in my last video either, so who knows what's up with that. So, oh, it's the full, it's the super moon. That's what it is. It's December 3rd. Oh, I got it. I got it. It's the super moon messing with me. I got it. Okay. So, anyway. Um, the basis of your reading is the sun card. It is reversed. There's still there's still happiness, but you're not as happy as you could be, okay? It's like you're not as joyful as you normally are this time of year. It just feels you may be feeling a little down, not quite as happy. Things couldn't be some things probably aren't progressing as much as they you'd hoped. Um, it feels like you're you're feeling down. I mean, this week I'm sorry to tell you, but you, it looks like you're feeling down. Like, you know, when I got up to zoom the camera in, it was at 111, okay? It was at 111 when I zoomed the camera in, the time. Your thoughts become things. And I was going to say it, but I wanted to see what come up, and here we are. Your thoughts become things. It's absolutely clear. So you really, really need to consider that this week. You know, it's okay once in a while to feel down, you know, to feel down and feel sad like things aren't, like you don't, like you're not feeling very grateful this week, you know, just, it feels like it's a week of feeling discontent and I'm sorry to tell you that, like you're not really feeling like you're giving out all kinds of love this week, you know, you, you may be, it's just a week of feeling down and I'm sorry I keep repeating that but that's what I see, I see many of you really need to not quit. Many of you will feel like quitting on something. It's like you're on the verge of quitting. It could be a relationship, I'm not sure, but I think many of you are like on the verge of quitting. You're ready, you're so close to walking away from something altogether. It's like, you know, I think I'm, I'm just about ready to go here. Um, I think you're going about to go through some kind of awakening if you haven't already. You know, you might all of a sudden have this epiphany that comes into your head that makes you decide, you know what, I want more and more, more than this. I'm, I have so much beauty and love to give. I have so much um, gentle compassion to share with the world. And I, you know, so I think there's going to be a switch. There's going to, it's like at the beginning of the week, you're probably going to feel like down, 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 down the dumps. You know, and it's gonna and it's gonna flip a switch. It's like you're gonna have this epiphany, and it's gonna be like, you know what? I know how beautiful I am. I know what I have to offer, and you're gonna you're gonna change it up. It's like I, I'm I can't pretend that everything is okay. I'm taking the blindfold off, I'm not gonna pretend. I'm, I need to be happy. And I need to do what's right for me to be happy. It feels like you go through a period of renewal towards the end of the week. You know, the beginning of the week is down, depressed, sad. And then towards the end of the week, the, the flip, the switch flips and you decide that you're worth more. It's like, you know what, I'm, I'm going to be happy because this is what I deserve. You know, and then the flip, the switch flips and your attractiveness goes way up. And everybody sees it you know they see your beauty you're very beautiful so if you go through this period of feeling like you're down and you're not worthy and 
you know, something really bad has happened to make you feel like you can, you're about ready to quit. You can't go on with this anymore. You know, I think that does only last for maybe three days. And then towards the end of the week, everything starts to change and you decide that you're not going to hang around in this state of mind anymore. You know, it feels like there's a change here because you want to be happy. So you start to bring your happiness back by loving yourself. And that's just, I mean, it's beautiful. It really is. You fix it. I mean, you fix it by, by changing your state of mind. Um, that's what I see. You let go of the need to control. I think many of you are just like, you know what? It is what it is. It is what it is. I know what I'm worth. And if you don't like it, that's too bad. You know what I mean? It feels like... I'm done with this. I'm not going to mope over this. I'm not going to cry over it anymore. I'm going to go find the love that I deserve. And, you know, even if that's me loving myself, I feel like many of you, you know, you start out the week with the, the this, uh, false, this false feeling of I'm not worthy, I'm not lovable, or I'm not good enough, or I'm ready to quit, I'm ready to walk away. I don't know what to do. I'm, I I don't feel good about anything to... <laughs> I love myself. I love myself. Interesting, huh? I feel like you guys have put a lot of work into something. And maybe it didn't pay off. You know, you've really given time and effort. A lot of time. A lot of time and effort to a situation. And it just is going nowhere. And that's why you feel down. It's like, oh my God, how come this didn't work? What did I do? What did I do? It's me. That's why it starts out like that. It's me. I did something wrong. But the fact of the matter is you didn't do anything wrong. There was lies in, in this situation anyway. There was. Somebody wasn't telling the truth. The devil brings lies. You have the devil here. Somebody wasn't telling the truth. They weren't giving you true love. They weren't. They weren't giving you the love that you needed, that you seek. I mean, they weren't. So now it's been exposed. It looks like it's been exposed and you finally starting to realize, you know what? It wasn't me. It's their loss. So I think that you probably decide towards the end of the week to let go of the need to control, to get your life back on track and to honor your soul, honor yourself. And then when the minute, I think instantly almost, once you decide to do that, you have this epiphany. Okay, you have this epiphany that you are worthy, that you are beautiful, that, you know, I don't need this shit. I don't. I don't, I don't need these, these feelings anymore. I don't need this to bring me down. There's no need for it, you know. I see a renewal, I see a rebirth like, you know, where um, things like you start a new phase, you go through a period of renewal, a period of growth. You could even get a, a new sexual partner that comes into your life if you're single. You know, there could be a new sexual partner that comes in. Um, could be an Aries, could be a Leo or a Sagittarius. We also have, we have Aries again. We have Leo. I'm just looking to see who else. They really didn't look at him before. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Gemini. But I feel, I really feel like it's a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius that could be coming into your life if you're single. And I feel like, you know, you have to hold your head up high. Okay, so if this person comes into your life, make sure that you are feeling positive because I feel like many of you may feel like you're not worthy. It's still here, not worthy, the strength card reversed. Feeling you're like you're not willing to accept the truth, you know, accept. This is not willing to accept, not willing to use your resources. And you have the magician twice, so that really tells me that somebody isn't quite willing they're not quite willing to shed the old quite yet. And that could be at the beginning of the week. At the beginning of the week, because, you know, that's what I have. That's exactly what it is. The beginning of the week, you're feeling down. Like, that strength card. Like, you, you're not having the confidence. You're not having the courage. You're not proud. You're not feeling good. You're not, you're not vibrating highly. You know, you're not willing to let go of the past towards the beginning of the week. And then towards the middle of the week, things start to change. Okay? And that's when you decide... All of a sudden, out of the blue, that it's time. It's time. 
It's time for a new growth. It's time for a new partner. It's time to take action. It's time to bring uh, my, get my life back on track, get myself together, pick myself up, hold my head up high, and show this world how beautiful I am towards the end of the week. That's what I see. You know, and it hasn't been easy. What you have been going through has not been easy because you had to. You are having to let go of something. It's all there is to it. You're try, having to let go of something that you were highly invested in. You know, and at first, towards the beginning of the week, you're feeling like it was you. You know, you put in all this work. You put in all this time. You worked hard on it. What the hell did I do wrong? What What the hell is wrong with me? What did I? Why me? Well, I don't understand. I've given it my all. You know, and you're blaming yourself at the beginning of the week. In the middle of the week, it, it starts to turn. By the end of the week, you're loving yourself again, you know? And the happiness is going to come back because you flipped the switch. It's like, you know what? I'm beautiful. And if you can't see that, tough shit. Because the rest of the world can Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. So during the beginning of the week when you're feeling down and you feel like you've got nobody, reach out to your friends. Do it. Maybe that's just what you need. Maybe they're going to help you to flip the switch. Realize how lovely you are. Maybe you just need one friend to say, you know what? You're worth more than this. The second card is trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith and trust in your future. Faith and trust in yourself, in your decisions, in who you are. The second card is keep an open mind. Because this is the truth right here. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Okay, so many of you are going to go, you're going through an awakening. You're going to have this epiphany that you're, you're, that you're ready. You're ready, okay? I'm done. I can't, I can't live in this state of mind over here anymore, okay? I, I'm, I'm ready. I'm beautiful. I know it. I'm moving on from this situation, okay? I have to tell you. Keep an open mind. This card comes out to say that this next partner that's going to come into your life if you're single and you're waiting for somebody, this next partner is not what you think. They're not who you think, and they don't look like you think who you think. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations, okay? You are about to have somebody come into your life if you're single, that is not your usual type. And you are being asked to have keep an open mind and have trust and faith. Okay? Now, you might meet this person through your friends, too. I have to tell you that. If you don't know who this is, this person, you might meet this person through one of your friends. Just saying. Um, maybe you're feeling down and you need your friends to take you out. I mean, that could certainly be the case as well. Uh, the fact is, with the magician card twice, you need to be willing. Okay? Willing is upright, okay? With it reversed, I'm kind of skeptical here because it feels like you may not be willing, but towards the end of the week, it looks like you are, so really be open to it, okay? Keep an open mind. Do it. You've been through a lot. You've hung on for as long as you can hang on, okay? It's time to let go. This week is about your happiness. The sun card is the basis of your reading. It is reversed. You haven't been happy for a while. Things haven't been the way you've wanted. And you started to blame yourself. And this week is about bringing your happiness back. It's time to bring your happiness back. Ooh. Light. Light. Look to the space between the trees for answers. 
Look to the space between the trees for answers. Look to the light. And listen. And don't expect the answers to come like that. Don't work that way. So Aquarius, this is what I have for you the week of December 4th through December 10th is about bringing your happiness back. This is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and this video should not be under anybody else's channel. If it is, um, then please write a little comment under that and send me an email, write a comment on that channel that they don't have authorization and report it and send me an email with the link so that I can talk to the DCMA about that. Talk to you later.